Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm here with a very special guest today, Olivia O'Brien. You just had a recent single come out called Love Myself. Mm -hmm. And you have your debut album coming up April 26th. Yes. Uh, very, very exciting. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the uh, the single and the album. It's my first album, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. And it's called Was It Even Real? Um, I wrote it over the process of pretty much like, I started last January, so January of 2018. And then I finished, I think I finished the last songs like the end of 2018. So it was, it was almost like a year long process. And then since then I've been finishing all of that up. Personally, when I'm sad, I don't want to listen to like happy music. I don't want to listen to someone telling me like, just be happy, right? I want to listen to like sad music. So the way that I like um, did the track list it's like you can start listening on like a really sad song and it kind of like eases you into all the like happier songs so you can kind of like start when you're not feeling so great and then finish like on a more like uplifting note. And the single Love Myself, the video's out, uh, very cool, it's very purple like your hair, which I like a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wearing the jacket in honor of that. Where did the purple thing come from? Basically like the guy that I wrote most of the songs on the album about, it was um, Purple was his favorite color also, and so then when things ended with us, like I kept, every time I saw the color purple, I would just like think about him, and like I didn't want to think about him, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna reclaim this color. Um, and I've had purple hair before, but I like, I, this is the longest that I've continued to have it without like getting bored and dyeing my hair another color. So I was like, I'll dye my hair purple, and I'll only post purple things on Instagram, and I'll change my profile photo to literally the color purple, and everything I do is purple. Um, and then I just like, then people will associate me with the color purple instead of him, and it's like my like, Nice. <laughs> and also I just love the color. It, it represents like royalty and creativity and spirituality and it's the highest, uh, violet light is the highest vibrational color of light other than white light because white light has all the colors in it. But and also yeah. it's like warm color and a cool color mm -hmm. combined, yep. which I thought speaks to finally some of your, uh, some of the song titles that you're known for have sort of like a, you know, hate you, love you, mm -hmm. I was a care more or less. Care right? less more. Care yeah. less more. And, yeah. uh, so I thought maybe reading into it very deep, the, mm -hmm. the, the symbolism. I like double entendres and I like things that contradict each other, <laughs> definitely. With the album coming out, I think, you know, I, I was surprised to read You're Only 19, mm -hmm. right? And the single uh, Hate You, Love You, that was from, I think, 2017, so... My original version, I think we released in 2017 or in 2016, and then... Uh, 2015 was like the original like version with me and Nash was released in like summer of 2015. But my personal like own version. You're so young. Yeah. At that time, that's crazy. I was, yeah, I was 15 when I wrote that song. That is awesome. Um, and you're from LA. I'm from Napa, California, but I live really? in LA. Yeah. And then moved down to LA for to pursue music or for fun. For music, I still lived in Napa when I released "I Hate You, I Love You." It was like the first song I ever did, and I didn't think I was gonna do music. I was in high school. Um, and then I was still in school for like, I think almost, or like a year about after that. Um, I started doing like independent study and was like halfway in LA. Yeah. And then I just decided to fully move there because like all my work was there. As a professional famous people talker, uh, I actually, a lifelong hero of mine was Conan O'Brien and I imagine there is no relation. No, I get that literally all the time I get asked if I'm related to Conan or Dylan O'Brien. I actually met Conan O'Brien at like this, this burger place called Gots in Napa and he was there ordering like a bunch of burgers. I think he was having like, a party or something. This is when I was like 14 and my dad goes up to him and was like, Conan O'Brien, like we're, I want you to meet the O'Brien girls and like introduce me and my sister and I was like, oh my god. He talked to him for a little bit and found out that our families are from like the same like place in Ireland from like back before we came to America. I'm, like. He's like, we're probably cousins. He's like, yeah, dad, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know, our writers had some questions for you as well, including what is your favorite type of pizza? I am one of the weird people that likes pineapple on pizza. I love Hawaiian pizza. I think it's fucking good. People who hate on it, like, I don't know what you're talking about. They just, literally, I made my manager Max try it the other day because he had never had it. And he was like, That's disgusting. I was like, How do you know it's disgusting if you've never tried it? Um, <laughs> So, are very serious about it. Yeah, I'm like, you just need to try it, man. Um, yeah, Hawaiian pizza is probably my go-to, or just like cheese pizza with ranch is like, if I'm feeling really disgusting. Cheese pizza <laughs> with ranch, okay. I'm with that, actually. I saw you tweeted recently that listening to Tame Impala was a full-body immersive experience. Yeah. Um, 
and I agree, are they somebody that you'd want to work with? Or Yeah, I have a tattoo um, that says eventually, they're my favorite song on um, Currents, so the most recent Very album. cool. Um, yeah, and they're Kevin big Parker's, fans of the show. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Tame and Paul. Kevin Parker is like a fucking legend. He's amazing. Have you gotten to meet them? I have not. I saw, he did um, a, like a little project with this guy at the office. Theophilus London, and they did like a little small show at Peppermint Club in LA, and I, I saw just a couple of songs, but that's like the closest I've ever gotten to meeting him. And would you be down for a collab? Oh, yeah. Because they're definitely going to be watching this, <laughs> and then we can just set that up. Yeah, okay, great. Who else uh, would you say is like a big influence, or maybe even just somebody that you'd want to work with? A top three is Tame Impala, SZA, and Frank Ocean. And then like, I have a giant tattoo of Amy Winehouse in my room. My shirt is so tight, it's hard to get up, but... I have a tattoo of Amy Winehouse playing guitar. So I'm guessing that's somebody that you admire up musically. To, yeah. Definitely. That's musically cool. and just like, I just think she's a like genius. That's very true. You also tweeted recently uh, that you were salty and need to tell yourself to shut the <laughs> F up. So I thought that was an interesting difference of messages, you know? Sort of like the hate you, love you thing. Um, I need to love myself and I also need to tell myself <laughs> to shut the F up. Well, that was because I was like talking to like haters on Twitter and like engaging them, which is just like stupid and I just need to not and just, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know, we know about that here at Poptis. I think that's, that's how we spend most of our day actually. It's just attacking fans. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, you, uh, yeah, I think you, you actually mentioned that you're deleting it. Have you, have I, you I, I, I like don't have the Twitter app ever. I re-downloaded it and then went on that rampage and then deleted it. I go on <laughs> I go on Safari and I like tweet and then I just log off. I mean I don't I just like exit out and I don't look at my timeline ever. Or like I'll go on and like read some mentions and like like some tweets and yeah. like then I'll just go off because I don't want to. <laughs> if you get you get deep into like the little wormhole, you find one tweet and then you go to like the person's account and then they have like all these like indirect tweets about you and then they're retweeting like all their friends that are like saying the same things and it's like you wouldn't I wouldn't have seen that if I hadn't gone and looked for it you know yeah like they're not mentioning me they're just like saying things so. yeah it's better um, to just not just not don't engage it. well you are about to embark on a nationwide tour headlining it correct mm -hmm. is this your first uh, tour of this scale yeah oh yeah I haven't even headlined a tour at all before I, I opened for uh, Jack and Jack in like 20, late 2017 and 2017 um, but that's the only tour I've ever been on. So. That's exciting though. What's the uh, what's it going to be like live? I'm playing a lot of unreleased stuff and I've basically everything from my album. So like, um, a few of the songs will be out by the time. I mean, I've already released like I think four songs from the album. So some of them are out, but then there's also a lot of stuff that like they won't hear until. Yeah, um, and the album the again was it even real? April 26th. Yeah, April. which is the last day of the tour. Mm -hmm. And where's that location? San Francisco. So I we added an extra day in San right Francisco. Right by home. So, yeah, exactly. Are you are you constantly writing? What's the songwriting process like? Um, it depends. I mean, I you know I write when I'm inspired. So sometimes I'll go into a session. I'll have a session scheduled like, um, and I'll go in and I leave immediately because I just can't write. Like that's just how some days go, and you just have to kind of like be okay with it because you can't force creativity. Exactly. Um, or inspiration, especially, I don't know, a lot of people are like, why don't you write about something? Well, I'm like, if it's not inspiring me, like, I can't make a good song. There's no point in making something that's not good. Do you play, like, guitar? Is it all lyrics yeah, first? I play or? guitar and piano. I'm better at guitar than I am at piano, I'd say, because I've been taking lessons. Like, I played, like, when I was young, I just knew how to play chords, but I'm, yeah. like, learning how to actually play and learn techniques and stuff. And so, are you yeah. going to be playing live on tour? I am still scared. Like everyone's, all my team is everyone. Like everyone's telling me I need to do it, but I'm good. nervous. That I'm gonna mess up. Well, thank you, Olivia O'Brien, for being here. Um, we're thank very excited happy. to uh, see the tour and also for your debut album. Was it even real? It wasn't. I was gonna ask. That's what no, people need to know. It wasn't real. It wasn't real.